Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's challenge video. This month I've decided to take on the highlighter challenge. What you need to do is just grab a bunch of highlighters, whether or not that be from your um, desk or from a pound shop or if you live in America or Canada at a dollar store. Um, I'm using some cheap ones I found in the pound shop, uh, my Dela Rowney Mixed Media Pad, my WH Smith pencils both for sketching and for lining, as well as uh, my uh, white gel pen, hybrid Pentel gel pen and my white um, marker pen as well. So the whole idea with this is just to try and mainly use the markers and build up the layers and try and create a sort of image from it. And I decided if you are new to this channel, I do my colour challenges and I keep a theme with them. Um, so I decided for this, I'd try and keep in the theme and have like lovebirds on the girl's shoulders. And I found very, very, very quickly that these markers, I was not going to get crisp edge with them at all. Um, so I kind of have mixed feelings about it. The problem is with highlighters is they are a water-based um, marker. They are a water-based material, water-based marker, so it's very difficult for you to get a nice, clean, defined edge on it uh, without it leaking onto the paper in any way, shape or form. Um, and I use Mixed Media Pad to try and counteract that as much as possible to stop the paper from peeling up as much. Uh, because you'll find that with wet mediums, unfortunately, it does make the paper almost like peel up in the edges a little bit. Um, so my kind of plan of attack was to try and avoid layering as much as possible because this would cause my pacer to almost not buckle but kind of just have issues with the whole like blending sort of the way I would like it. Whereas if I use my pro markers or if I use any alcohol based markers um, I find it's much easier to blend whereas with water markers I really struggle with blending which is why it was so important that the white gel pen came into effect um, and the white paint marker as well because this will help me achieve the gradient and the luminosity and like almost like shading properly and um, because it's quite difficult with these colours to try and create a nice solid block of colour. So what I basically do here is I am like almost like blocking out my colours and then I'm building up on top very hesitantly because I don't want the paper to buckle. Um, I kind of went for an orangey pink and yellow scheme with the marker. Now if anyone's asking, I got these from the power shop. These are not expensive pieces of equipment at all. So you could kind of take this in as a um, cheap supply challenge, if you will. And the reason why I am using a pencil crown is as you would with your fine liner. I was using this to almost like define sort of lines on my shape. Uh, this is to almost give the image a little bit more of a lift um, rather than just the actual um, like highlighters because a, the problem is is the highlighters are fantastic to be able to use they're really good if you just want a really bright vibrant color but they do bleed an awful lot so by using my pencil tool I am able to contain that shape a little bit more and build up my layers um, I try to use it as minimal as possible but I had to use it in certain areas like the hands to try and make them stand out a little bit more because I didn't want to go in too much with the highlighters causing the paper to almost it like kind of peels away a little bit and if anyone has used like cheap markers before um, which are water based or any water based media you'll notice that it starts to do that. You'll notice as I'm doing the sky um, it's doing this bobbling thing and this is what I mean by it's the papers coming away underneath. Um, so using the white highlighter tool and the actual um, pencil crayon I am able to build up my layers. And if anyone else wants to take on the highlights challenge, I have seen a few videos. Um, I haven't seen many. If anyone wants to take on the highlights challenge, please do so. I want to see what you guys come up with the, the same sort of equipment. It's interesting to see everyone's sort of take on it. Um, I was really, really lucky with mine that I had six different colours. So it almost ends up being like a six 
colour challenge, which I have had a few requests to do. And if you guys are interested in that, you know, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, if anyone is interested and hasn't been to my channel before, hello, welcome to my channel. If you want to join um, uh, me on my art journey, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you ever do want to see a uh, some of my other challenge videos I will leave a link to the playlist down below which will have all of my challenge videos on so you can easily access all the other challenge videos that I have done in the past so why did I choose to use highlighters instead of actual neon markers the reason being is I actually do want to do a proper neon challenge with um, some like really bright vibrant pro markers um, but I felt like the highlighter challenge was a bit more difficult than just doing the pro markers because I know how pro markers behave I mean I'm ver I've been not to toot my own horn but I've been using them for quite a while so I'm comfortable with that as my medium whereas using just highlighters really steps me out of my comfort zone um, I've used wet medium before like watercolors and stuff and I do find myself getting much better at it I am more control over it um, but I haven't used wet crayons since I did the Crayola challenge and that was difficult as it was so I saw these in the pound shop um, and I had to get them I thought do you know what that would be a fun challenge to try out and I'm really glad I did it because I found that even though I was restricted on what I could do it made me step out and think okay what can I do to improve this and I'm really happy with aspects of this piece there is a lot that i could look back on and then say okay i could do better i think if i did the birds much bigger i would have had more control over the feathering in the detail um, and as i was trying to limit myself on other mediums that i was using i used the liquitex paint marker quite a bit to try and build up shades because i just wasn't happy with the illustration it just seemed too flat to me it was um wasn't giving up enough variation shading and this was just genuinely because you are so restricted on colors with the highlighters and you are so restricted with the mediums that you can't build them up as much so by using the liquitex fineliner and the signo uh, pencil uh, white gel i am able to make the illustration much more vibrant and much more vivid and i was really happy that i was able to do that um I do suggest if anyone wants wants to try this out, like do it. It's a lot of fun. It is really good to take limited palettes and challenge yourself with it, or challenge yourself with a medium that you're not quite used to, because this steps you out of your comfort zone, as well as lets you learn skills that you can then apply to other pieces that you want to do. Now I am a sucker for cheap supplies. Um, I will grab anything and everything to try and do an illustration because you shouldn't be restricted by what supplies you have and I think that's what makes the cheap supply challenges so fantastic. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed like my commentary on this and if you guys um, have taken part or have you done anything like that this in the past like let me know. I want to see what you guys have done with the similar sort of challenges. Um, if you uh, have any suggestions on any challenges you want me to do, please email, uh, email. <laughs> please like message in the comments or make suggestions on my um, Instagram or my Twitter. I'm always looking for new things to try out. Um, I know next month we I am doing a Christmas uh, colour challenge, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to really limit my palettes with, with some colour schemes. And I'm actually looking at redoing some of my old challenge videos. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I really want to hear what you guys think. After all, art challenges are there to help you try something that you haven't done before or learn something you haven't yet learned. I do hope you guys have enjoyed my video um, and I do hope you've enjoyed my progress on this piece. I really want to thank you all for your support and for just being here for this channel. It means the absolute world to me. Let me know what your thoughts are on this challenge and let me know if you've tried it. Maybe comment in the section down below and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. If you guys want to, just give me your best suggestions for whatever you think I should do next. 
thank you so much for watching maybe subscribe to my channel comment down below maybe like the video if you want to but as always stay creative